Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Sincerely Jacqueline. It has been a long time since I've posted, I'm so glad to be back. Today we are going to be doing two vase or vessels that some people call it, um, techniques uh, using thrift store finds and these are inspired by restoration hardware in some of the other high-end stores. So if you wanna know how I made these two vases, please stay tuned and keep watching. So the first uh, DIY is I'm going to be using this vase that I found from Value Village and it was about $4. And so what you're going to need is some black spray paint and I'm just spray painting this vase now, I would suggest using a matte black. All I had was a satin finish. So once you finish spray painting your vase, you're just gonna grab some dirt from your yard and you want to rub the dirt all over your vase. So I mixed my dirt up with a little bit of water and I just, took my dirt and I just spread it, the dirt all along the vase. And basically what I'm creating is a distress antique look. So this is what it looks like once the dirt has dried. Next, you want to wipe off your, the excess uh, dirt on your vase. Now, depending on how antiqued that you want your vase to look like, you can wipe off more or less. And I just use a little bit of water just to get a little bit more dirt off. So next, to add a little bit more distressing to my vase, I'm just taking some plain chalk and I'm applying it all over my vase, just to add more of an antique look. And there's my little helper. <laughs> Next, you just want to wipe off very lightly your chalk marks. And I felt that I needed more chalk, so I actually end up applying uh, way more chalk just to give it more of uh, that gray antique look. Now to protect your vase and preserve it, you want to add a clear coat of spray paint uh, just to seal your vase. And here is the final product. I decided to style it with some greenery on my dining room table. I absolutely love how it came out. Um, it looks very sleek, but I love the antique and age finishing on the vase. And the best thing about it is it was super cheap to make. The vase cost me about $4. I already had the spray paint and the dirt was from my backyard and the chalk we already had. And I love how it is a really cool restoration dupe without spending a lot of money. Okay guys, for the next DIY, you're going to need some type of vase. And I got this vase for about two or $3.99 at Value Village. I absolutely love the shape, but I really hated the black shiny finish. And this technique has been used all around the internet. What you want to do is take some acrylic paint. I'm just taking some white acrylic paint and I'm mixing it with some baking soda. And you want to note that the more baking soda that you use, the more textured your paint is going to be. And for this, I really wanted it to look like stone. So I added a little bit more baking soda to my solution. 
and to apply the paint onto my vase, I'm just using a sponge. Now to get into smaller areas, I'm just using a paintbrush. Now guys, here is the first layer um, I decided to also paint the inside and here is an example of two layers on to my vase. Now to add some texture and depth, I just mixed the same type of baking soda solution and I added a little black to create a, a light gray. And you want to take your sponge and you just want to dab it all over your vase. Initially, I was doing this technique, but I absolutely hated it because I found the um, there was a lot of brush marks. So what I actually started doing was just taking my sponge and very, very lightly dabbing it on to my vase. Now you want to do this lightly because I'm I found that when I pressed really hard, the paint started to peel off. So you want to be very light handed. Once I applied my first layer of gray, I mixed up a darker gray and applied it to the vase as well. So as you can see, I started using a bit of a different technique and very lightly stippling it onto my vase and it just created a better look. Now this is what it looks like after the gray layer. Now in order to give it a little bit of depth and a little bit of interest and warmth, I decided to mix up a very light brown color and layered it onto my vase. Then to blend all three colors together, I just added on top a white. And again, to prevent chipping and to help keep your vase looking great, you want to add a clear uh, coat on top to protect your vase and you want it in a matte finish. And here 
is the final product. I absolutely love how this face came out. I think it looks spectacular and I think that it does really mimic the look of stone and it was so affordable to make and pretty easy to make. To finish this face off, I found this these beautiful plants close to my home and I just thought they would go so well with the vase. And there you have it guys, two absolutely gorgeous vases using very simple products around my home and two thrifted vases. If you like this video guys, go ahead, subscribe, hit the like button, comment below which one was your favorite vase and please hit the alarm button to get notifications for me. If you want the complete list of all the things that I use, please head to my website at www.sincerelyjacqueline.com. And guys, thank you so much for your love and support. I will see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye.